Hey everyone, it's Ivan with Kipadger.com here to bring you another little video and today we're going to take another look at the Fix by Q chambered in 8.6 Creedmoor. If you're unfamiliar with the Fix by Q, amazing bolt action rifle. Did a whole deep dive series into it talking about the how and why behind all the design elements. Things really rad, but it's about to get a lot cooler because now this thing's actually going to be chambered in 8.6 Creedmoor. Which brings us to what the hell is 8.6 Creedmoor? Think of 8.6 Creedmoor as 300 Blackout turned up to 11, or maybe just 300 Blackout's big brother. Ultimately what we're doing is we're taking a 6.5 Creedmoor case, shortening it, and necking it up for a 338 projectile. Pretty big round. So what's that going to do for us? Basically think about all the benefits of 300 Blackout. One hand you have a supersonic round that performs incredibly well, or the ability to throw this thing subsonic and throw a lot of weight downrange at every shot and still get that amazing terminal ballistics. How's the 8.6 do for us? Thing does pretty amazing, even out of this 12 inch barrel. Right now I have some supersonic rounds. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a couple rounds downrange. See how this guy does. This thing is amazing. Granted, I'm shooting up close, but honestly, I don't have necessarily the distance to reach out with this guy to actually stretch its legs, but the capability of the supersonic is really incredible. Of course, like 300 Blackout, while we can use it supersonic, the real beauty lies in subsonic. So how's this guy do there? Just like 300 Blackout, we get to throw a pretty substantial projectile downrange. These guys right here are loaded up with 285 grain solid copper bullets. That is a lot of mass going down range. So right now, these being subsonic, no ear pro, we'll see how this does for me. Let's be honest, the steel kind of ruins it. Right now I'm going to go ahead and just dump one into the berm. We'll see how quiet this guy is. That's pretty rad. For those of you that are really big on numbers, I have this guy right here, a doublometer. It measures decibels. It's a sound meter. I don't know what the hell the fancy correct term is for it. but. I'm going to go ahead and get my muzzle about a meter off this guy. I'm going to break two rounds of supersonic. Might get a little first round pop, but we'll see. And then follow up that with a couple rounds of subsonic. See what kind of numbers we get. Here's my first round of supersonic. 146. Second round of supersonic. 145. Going straight into my subsonic. 128. Are those numbers indicative of the 8.6 cartridge going through this 12 inch barrel with this Q suppressor? I have no idea. They are for this day with that doublometer or decibel meter, whatever the hell you call that damn thing. But here's the thing, big picture, we have a supersonic round that is devastating, out pretty far, and then on top of that we have an incredibly devastating subsonic round that does a really good job, especially at much further distances than you're going to be able to throw it in like your 300 blackout. All around 8.6 is pretty awesome cartridge. You're asking yourself the same question I'm asking, i.e., when can we get some amazing 8.6 Creedmoor to include 12 inch barrel fix? I don't have a good answer for you. Right now, they're finishing the development on the load, and with that, Q 
Q's is going to basically finish development on the barrels, figuring out what twist rate actually works best, finding that happy medium, being able to throw really accurate subsonic loads and still get great performance with supersonic. So don't have an answer, stay tuned. Super impressed with this setup. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Tight.